All clean, yes. So, now it's time to get busy. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. By the time you get it, this video, it might be Tuesday or Wednesday, but today, for me, it is Monday morning, and I got things that I need to get done today. And number one on my list was definitely a shower. I'm back in the city. <laughs> And the next thing that I must do today is mail 
the jackery today must be done so that's what we're going to do and then after I mail the jackery off I got work to do today I am going to find a nice place where I could just post up for a minute for the day for a few hours or whatever and try and get some work done try to get some writing done yeah so that's what's on my mind today as far as you know I've been writing short articles but I haven't been really focusing on this book I say I'm going to write <laughs> So today I think I want to spend some time with the book and also spend some time with you guys and respond to some of your comments. So let, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And that is work, y'all. It is, okay? That's my type of work, okay? Yours just may look a little different. <laughs> that's it. just seems to slip away but the jackery has left my life <laughs> it is on its way to the winner T pace it's on its way and you should be receiving that around March 8th if you're watching this video you should be receiving it around March 8th um, and if you can I sent you an email as well and once you get it, if you can just let me know you got it, um, I greatly appreciate it. Anyways, so now it's time to mosey my day on so we can get some other work done today too. And while I was there, I checked my mailbox and we have two packages. Here's one. And here's two. So we're going to open those up once we get to where we are going. First things first, let's open up these boxes. You guys, it is so beautiful out here today. Unbelievable. Beautiful. Okay. trading again I don't know this is from Jacqueline trading again enjoy the gift love and blessings be safe out there from Jacqueline what is it I don't want to stab myself <laughs> I hope it's not too windy myself electric coffee grinder oh my goodness and it's a USB port one I can buy fresh coffee grinds oh I love love fresh coffee grinds it's such a difference in taste definitely especially if you're a coffee drinker like me this is so cute look guys and you push the button and it grinds the coffee oh wow thank you Jacqueline thank you so much 
y'all we gonna be having some fresh coffee as soon as i finish what i have <laughs> in the van it comes with the little brush to help clean it definitely thank you so much and i love that it's small tiny and it fits right into my lifestyle it doesn't take up too much space thank you so much you guys don't have to send me gifts but i appreciate it <laughs> okay and this one is from victoria from pennsylvania thank you victoria you don't have to send me a gift girl uh-oh another book find your mini pumpkin life's lessons to live with purpose oh victoria this is your book girl you wrote this book girl look at that she oh victoria thank you let's see um you're ready to take you're ready to take on the next chapter of life equipped with all you've learned in school English teacher Victoria Short gives you the wisdom and wide-ranging advice she shared with her students um, over her long career as an educator. From how to invest in your own self-care to seeking the authentic, seeking out authentic life experiences, this collection of witty and witty and honest life lessons is like taking your favorite mentor with you on life's journey. Oh, thank you. This sounds like a really nice, positive, uplifting self-care book. Yes. Oh, and there's a card in here. Oh. Oh, I like the uh, the front of the card. It has books. <laughs> Says, Dear Abia, I enjoy your channel so much and look forward to watching your adventures. Since I don't have a YouTube channel, my gift of thanks to you is my content of a book. Space is at a premium in a van, so feel free to pass the book on when you're finished. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good books, actually, Victoria, I keep. And I do have a habit of that guys should see how many books I literally have. I've been keeping like all of my books since like uh, I want to say seriously keeping them since college. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it guys. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you guys. I love you. Thank you for your support everyone. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much your support means to me without you guys i wouldn't be able to live this life seriously you guys are all the vips you know so together we just make this happen and we're going to continue making this happen so thank you so much everybody has their job nine to five and getting drained they settle for second best scared to risk what the future might bring what the future might bring i hold my breath waiting for someone to knock at my door telling me i get so calm when i relax I mean, when I write sometimes and making progress. I'm glad I took the day to do this. But I met this lake here. I don't know, is this the Mississippi River? I don't know. But um, this is so off topic, guys. So off topic. But it's something that I have definitely been noticing throughout my travels to different states is the water is rescinding guys everywhere and it's rescinding here too and I was really shocked when I got here today to see how much 
it's rescinded. Is that even the right word? The water is drying up, <laughs> okay? And I know we got some biblical people here and people think they're prophets and prophecies and all this stuff, you know, whatever. Something is definitely going on in the world that a lot of us can't even comprehend definitely so let's go take a look at this lake i'm sure it's really windy but i apologize guys but look at that all that dirt stuff that you see over here it was it used to be underwater though isn't it it's happening everywhere people things are changing in the world <laughs> definitely changing and my train of thought is if things are changing it has to be changing for the better because how low can we go we've done just about every sin everything on this earth <laughs> it's time for some corrections yeah. <laughs> it's so beautiful. There's people, people over there. But it's beautiful. Yay! <laughs> mm. yeah, it's, Where? Somewhere, it's somewhere down in Mississippi, uh, in Missouri. I can't remember where they said. Yeah, I do a lot of traveling, so this is happening everywhere. Yeah, All over. over. Think it's biblical? Huh? Think it's biblical? <laughs> Time to get something to eat now. And I am gonna have this avocado Caesar salad. And I think I might put some turkey pepperoni in it.
Okay, guys. I wanted to take a moment to answer two questions um, from you guys. And let me find it. <sighs> Here it goes. One is from Jerry Market. He said, I really like when you used to give the name. Actually, it's one question. Yeah, one question. Because um, several of you have stated a comment about this. I really like when you used to give the name of the campsites. You stated you had already gone from the site by the time your video posted for view. So is it not okay to give the name of the campsite in your videos ongoing? I would love to visit sites. I at least have seen someone with a truck, someone with my trust visit. If you feel safe, please give the name ongoing. Okay, I do want to address that question because several of you have kind of said the same thing, just used different words. Okay, first off, <laughs> Um, I am in my home state, St. Louis, Missouri. And if anyone knows anything about St. Louis, Missouri, you will know that St. Louis, Missouri is one of the highest states for crime in America. Okay? So, this is my home base. This is my home state. I have several different places that I camp out at night that I rotate you know throughout this whole area okay st. Louis and the outskirts of st. Louis all of that okay I have certain places that I go and I am NOT going to jeopardize my safety um, <laughs> I really have to be careful of background images um, sometimes you know especially where I camp out at night and as far as campsites you guys um, I have shared some of the campsites that I have went to in Missouri with all of you but I don't share all of them because some of them I go to regu regularly and places that I go to regularly you will not know the name. I'm not sharing it. I'm not jeopardizing my safety, compromising my my locations. I'm not going to do that. However, when I travel, when I'm going somewhere, when I'm in a different state, or if I'm in a different campground um, within Missouri that I don't visit regularly, I share that information. I have no problem because yes, by the time you get that video, I have already left that location and God knows when I'll be back there, okay? But for the ones that I visit regularly, I'm there, you know, regularly. So <laughs> I don't want to jeopardize that and I hope you understand that. Safety, you know, being a solo female traveler and what I do, safety is always number one. And I know someone had stated something on the video, the last video that I did when I shot the scene of me getting my car situated with the door wide open with the lights on you can see straight through you know you best believe there was no one around me <laughs> okay no one around me period otherwise you wouldn't have got that okay I did it for the video just to kind of give you guys you know some this is what I do sometimes when I pull up to a location. Sometimes, not all the time. But if I feel safe, if there's no one around, I can do things like that. So safety is always number one. So I just wanted to address that question. And I think that, I know that I have not done a live in over a year, okay? You guys, I'm so serious. That first live scared, intimidated me. I mean, comments were just rolling. I couldn't even read that fast. And I was just like, I was so, 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 so super nervous. It was, 
I was so, so nervous. <laughs> so, <sighs> I'm trying to build up the nerves again to do a live. I don't know when. But I'm trying to build up the nerves again. <sighs> okay. So, I'm thinking about that, guys. Doing a live. I forgot my point. Uh, it's been a long day, guys. It's really been a long day. But, I forgot what I was going to say. Sometimes this happens. <laughs> and here I am, looking in the camera like, uh, can you help me figure out what I was going to say, please? Okay, <laughs> so... It's about an hour and a half later since my last clip, guys. And I did a little bit more writing. And it's getting kind of nippy outside. And the sun is setting right now. So I'm going to... Well, everything pretty much is in drive mode. Pretty much. But I need to just start preparing and thinking about my departure from this relaxing spot. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, you can't stay here all night. They won't let us. They won't let us. It would be nice. Okay, Missouri, if you're watching this, Missouri, it would be nice. So, guys, I don't want to make this video extremely long. I have habits of doing that, but I can't help it. It takes some time to, you know, convey what's going on in the story. You know what I'm saying? So, and I think I have a sty in my eye. It hurts and it's puffy. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, yeah, I can feel it. So, I'll probably go to Walgreens, get something for that. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here today, guys. You know, today was a work day. I feel like is this the yeah i got a hole in my shirt you guys see the hole right there no actually this i have a bigger hole in this one see <laughs> i have a hole in my shirt but i really like this shirt so i don't care i'm gonna wear it anyways because <laughs> i don't care what you think okay anyways i'm getting goofy because i'm just getting restless and sometimes when i get restless like this i get goofy see you hear that wind out there my goodness it is so relaxing out here so relaxing this is one of those parks that doesn't get really crowded i mean yeah, there's always people here, but it doesn't get extremely crowded. As a matter of fact, guys, this is the same place that I did have my first live at. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's the same place I had my first live at. Yeah, same place. Isn't that something? And we're talking about a live again. Wowzer. Oh, that means I watch Anthony a lot. I do, I do, I do. Hey, there's another YouTuber that's uh, new, and I absolutely love his channel. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Look it up. Look it up. It's called Winter is Blue. Oh, I love his vibe. His, his, I love the energy he puts out. I love how he films. I just, you know, I'm like, I, I just love everything about his videos. And I think he does music. And oh my goodness, his music. I'd be like, where can I get that at? Because <laughs> that is such, that's music I like to listen to. That's the type of music I like. I like that Neil Soul type music. You know what I'm saying? Not all this mainstream bumping and grinding and shooting and killing. No, ain't nobody got time for all that, okay? <laughs> I like that Neil Soul music. The stuff that speaks to your in like your insides your inner standing that you know i like that check out his channel check out his channel and i also watched anthony's video uh not too long ago and he gave a shout out and showed some support for traveling with charity and check her out as well guys i subscribe to both their channels I do, you know, Joy Route 
Frankie from Joy Route, she stated a long time ago, and she still does kind of state it throughout some of her videos, how she supports and subscribes to um, content creators that don't have a lot of followers. And I do the same thing. I show the support. I show the love. I watch their videos. I watch their journey. I comment on them. I, I, I give them thumbs up. I support, you know, this is a hard job. People don't realize, like, how hard being a content creator is. Not that I'm complaining or anything, but it is a hard job. And there is a lot that goes on behind the scenes that you guys don't normally see. You know, maybe I'll do one of these days, do a behind the scene video. I don't know. But nonetheless, you can tell this guy puts I can't think of his name I'm so sorry but his channel is winter is blue he is awesome check him out check out traveling with charity as well go over there show some love guys you know what I'm saying we got it we in this together <laughs> you know what I'm saying sharing is caring yes okay I'm babbling blah 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 get off the phone bye